You won't leave me not because I'm good. You won't leave me because you're good, because you're faithful, because you're consistent, because you're a good, good father. And you're perfect. Even when I'm not, and I can never strive to be, but God, even when I'm not, you're still good and you're still perfect in all of your ways, through all of my failures and inconsistencies. God, you have been good. Lift those hands like a child lifted them up to their dad. All over this room, come on. God, we just want to take this moment and we carve it out because you're a great and mighty God. But even more than that, you're a good father. You're God, you've been better to us than we could ever be to ourselves. And we just thank you for that kind of grace, that kind of love that you bestowed on us. Can you just begin to open up your mouth and begin to give them the fruit of your lips all over this room to your dad, to your, to your papa, to your, to your father in this room? Come on. Oh, and I heard a thousand stories of what they Think you're lying and I The tender whisper of love The dead of night and you tell me That you're pleased and that I I'm never alone Cause you're a good, good father It's who you are Come on Zion It's who you are Oh, 
was in here studying this weekend. I say, why would Pastor come up and interrupt such a good worship service? And um, I got an answer to that. I was in here praying this weekend, prepared. And I noticed something in the last few videos that I've done and posted on social media. I can put on a little clip and get a few hundred comments. I can preach today and maybe there'll be about a thousand comments. But if I pray for somebody, I'll get two or three thousand responses. Just praying. Please your neighbor say, I need prayer sometime. I, I tell, tell them I need prayer sometime. It's amazed me. I've only done it, done it a handful of times. It's just amazed me sometimes when I'm here on Friday and I'm preparing and before I leave, I just feel an urge that I need to pray publicly for a certain thing and all of a sudden I just pray for it and just an explosion of people. And the largest response I've got is when I have prayed for anxiety and depression. I get a larger response from that than I do on a Sunday message. Just a prayer. Just pray. And I was asking God, why? Why is that? Why is that going on? We're supposed to be a happy people. Happy are those whose God is the Lord. I said, happy are those whose God is the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Wait. I said, why is that? And although I do believe there can be chemical problems, I believe that. I believe there can be imbalances. I believe you can be clinically deficient in some areas and depressed, but by far and away that's not what most people are dealing with and God showed me something on a level I've never seen it listen to this we've been talking about the Holy Spirit and I'm going to continue talking about it today we're talking about he's a person he's not energy he's not air he's not a cloud he's not mist he, he's a person listen to this and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption in other words, now understand that in his personality, he's easily offended. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. And then he defines how the Holy Spirit gets grieved. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from you and all malice. All the clamor and all the juvenile disputes and conversations... All the anger, all the malice, all the hatred, all the wrath. He said, those are the things that cause me, stay with me now, to withdraw my presence. In the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand pleasures forevermore. So if God is present, I can't be depressed. Impossible. If God is presence, in his presence is the fullness of joy. At his right hand is pleasure. It is pleasurable in his presence and it's joyful in his presence. If I am depressed, could it be possible God has withdrawn his presence? And when he withdraws his presence, it's not because I'm a bad person. Because it's because, because I've allowed myself to become polluted with bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor evil speaking and malice all these are heart issues and mouth issues and the Holy Spirit said if you begin talking about folk and you begin to have wrong attitudes about folk and you begin hating on folk and you become a critical spirit and you ain't never got anything good to say about anybody the Holy Spirit says I withdraw and I have to get up and go sit at another table I can't sit at your table and I just dare some people right now to throw up your hands and say, God, if you would just, you would just cleanse my heart, you would just cleanse my heart. If you would just get this stuff out of my heart, because I can't take this depression, I can't take this deficiency of your presence anymore. I want to sing you're perfect in all of your ways. I want you to drive it, Brother Sound, man. I want you to drive it, praise team. I want you to drive it, man, because we're about to get God to come in here. Somebody say it. Somebody say it. I can't live without your presence, God. Everybody in the middle. Perfect in all of the ways. 
Enough said. He is your father. Enough said. You are covered. You are wanted. You are loved. 
And now his presence has brought you your joy back. I want you to celebrate him now that he has come in this place this morning and cleaned out the pipes and give us the joy and the laughter of our heart back. Now turn around and tell about five people, hug their neck, shake their hand and say, I want to welcome you to church. And I thank God that he gave you your joy back this morning. Tell him, I thank God that he gave you your joy back.